Hi everyone, this is Laura from the Teton County Library. Thank you so much for joining me for Teen Night. I'm really excited about this Teen Night because it is a Will It Waffle program. And so I'm giving you the basic essentials for Willie, Will It Waffling. Why not? Um, but please feel free to experiment. There is a cool book on Hoopla called Will It Waffle. Um, there's also some ingredients in the waffle iron booklet. So go nuts and stay safe. Um, so today, um, if you have not already washed your tools, like cleaned your waffle iron to what the booklet tells you to do, and washed your high heat non-metal spatula, um, please do so along with the kale, it is organic. Please wash it anyway. So if you're at home and you're joining us and you have your own tools, um, great, welcome. You will need to go through the preliminary waffle iron steps. Um, hopefully you have something that is high heat resistant and non-metal to do your waffle iron maneuvering. But if not, um, I would recommend using something like a fork that you can be really careful with. Metal can scratch the inside of our waffle iron and we don't really want that. So we have our tools and um, what we need to do is spray down or gently put some oil on our waffle iron. If you have a spray, it's okay if it's warm. If you don't and you're gonna just gently put some oil on with a paper towel or a cloth rag, please make sure your waffle iron is not hot. Um, I have some avocado oil here that I got at Albertsons, but you can use whatever oil you have. If possible, something with a very high smoking point, so something that can withstand heat without burning. So vegetable oil, coconut oil, canola oil, avocado oil. Olive oil is not a great first choice, but if that's what you have, work with it and just be um, very careful about burning stuff and also the smell. Also, I am in study room five, which is close to the public, and it's very clear why, because it doesn't ventilate that well, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna gently give it a little spritz here. That's nice. Ooh, okay, cool. So, I have that. I have my pre-washed kale, and I'm going to just gently put it down in a single layer on the waffle iron here. Ooh, it's hot, watch out. It might spit a little bit as it did with me, so be really careful if your kale is not totally dry. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. And then I have some seasoning. Use whatever you like to season things with. I have some Creole seasoning right here, so I'm just gonna whoop, carefully put a little on to give my kale chips some flavor. And now I'm going to, again, carefully close this and I'm gonna latch it down if I can. I can, and I'll come back in a couple minutes and we'll see what's going on. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on. It's been about five minutes. No, it hasn't. It's been less than five minutes. All right, let's see. Okay, they're looking pretty good, so I will use my spatula to gently finagle off a kale chip. And no one is around, so I am going to eat one. Mm-hmm. Awesome. These are pretty good. So I'm going to take them off and eat them when they are a little cooler. And again, I'm gonna be really careful because this is hot, so watch yourself there. Okay, and so, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so I haven't decided as of now what else I'm gonna put in your tea night kit, but I know for myself, even if I don't put this in yours, watch my face there. <laughs> What I do when I have an accident like this, and they do happen, is I'm going to unplug my waffle iron. And very gently, very carefully, pick it back up, making sure not to touch. 
touch anything hot. And it's fine. Hopefully good as new. Okay. <laughs> I am going to gently re-plug in my waffle iron. And check out how much oil there is. There's still a good amount of oil, so I don't need more. What I was saying is I got some hash browns. So I am going to try out putting some hash browns in here and then we'll come back in a little bit and see how it went. See you in a sec. All right, everybody, let's see how these hash browns are doing. Hopefully I won't drop it this time. Okay, so they're looking pretty good. I will gently take them out. All right, and there they are. So I hope that this has given you some fun ideas on what to do with your new waffle maker. Um, when you're done, don't forget to let it cool down and then wipe down all the little waffle ridges and everything with a damp towel or paper towel. You want it to be nice and clean for next time you use it. Um, have fun, everyone. Be safe, don't burn yourselves, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.